Hi everyone and welcome back to the Brick Buds. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You join me today for another modular review and this time it's the bookshop set 10270. So this is the 2020 modular, it's £150. If you want to pick it up, it's still available at lego.com. So check out our affiliate links below and just help support the channel. That would be amazing. Thank you. I've been looking forward to this one because I used to work in a library. That was my first job uh, after school. Seven years I worked there. Um, so books are quite important to me. I had been told that there is only one book inside this um, bookstore. So we'll find out whether that's true or not. So let's get this open as quick as we can and get into building it. Okay, this set retails for 150 UK pounds. Uh, there's 2,504 pieces in there. It's split into 18 different bags and that's across nine different numbers. So it's a lot smaller each step than we've had in previous modulars. There's two green base plates. So they're the 16 by 32 instead of the 32 by 32 because you are building two buildings that you can separate, which is nice. I do like it when they do modulars this way. Because you're building two different buildings, they do also give you two booklets. So one for one side, one for the other, which is always great when you're trying to build with someone else. And again, as with all the modulars, apart from the palace cinema, there are no stickers. Right, let's get this built. Right, here it is, all finished. Again, this was about a four hour modular with two people building, and it's a very easy one to do, the two build, people building, because obviously these are separate. I've put them this way round, because I think this is the suggested way for them to go. But you can obviously split them up completely, or put them the other way. So let's give it a quick spin and have a look around. The um, tree, I find, very wobbly actually I don't know if that's just how I've built it but I don't know I'm pretty sure it's not I've built it wrong it's just it's just very wobbly tree and um, the side on this side doesn't look too bad got a nice balcony at the back Ooh, place to sit Um, a, a small vegetable patch from the townhouse um, and a sort of dormer roof not a dormer roof a sloped roof even um, the apartment is a lot smaller height wise and this is the bit that we are not impressed with this side bit is just 
all over the place. Um, and Ian doesn't think that it was completely necessary to do all of those colours. Um, you could have probably added in some matching um, plates and things to, to reduce that eyesore that they've got. And yes, okay, they're meant to go next to other buildings. But what if in your city you can't get them next to another building? This is just, just awful. So yeah, that's our, our biggest downside of that one. I do really like the colours of this building. I'm not overly sure about the the blue for the window panes though actually because it, it doesn't seem to really fit with the teal colour. Um I don't know, maybe it does. It just it it's a little off for me. And I think actually I would probably prefer the birch books to be in um white all of this detail. I don't know, the grey again doesn't really work for me. But yeah, they're both quite attractive buildings. I like the sort of contrast of the the sloped um, roof here to the, or the, the curved roof to the angular one here. And these dormer windows are really nice. I, I'm keen on the steps. I always like it when they have steps up to things. Good variety of plants as well. No bench at the front, but that's because these are obviously the split boards, so neither of them has enough space for a bench I feel so they've just gone with none um I like the the number detail I've seen some people build like two of these and put them next to each other and it's a shame you can't get a different number um to customize that a bit but the bookstore itself I had heard like I mentioned before that there was only one book in it and that's that's not true there is only one named book which I'll show you later and I'm going to guess that's because coming up with Lego related puns for names of famous books it's quite difficult so you'll see the one that they did include in a bit but yeah this this curved detail is nice I like that and there's a lot of um those pyramid or tent pieces I'd call them these one by ones that look like tents so I quite like those as well Here you can probably see better the the blue next to the teal i don't know let me know in the comments below if you think that works i'm still not sure right let's have a closer look at the detail and actually i might show you the them the other orientation first to see if you like them the other way around better okay i'm pretty sure that that doesn't actually work because you've got the tree and the lamppost way too close together there um apart from that i quite like the this staircase being on that side though so i don't know um, it does also hide that ugly side of this one. Um, and I don't know if you can see this detail of the half circles sort of giving a, a tiling effect. Um, I'm not sure the light's showing you, so maybe I'll give you a close-up of that one in a second. But yeah, I think they definitely should be displayed the other way around. Um, but yeah, this one's a very clean side, so top marks for that one. Right, let's look inside. Okay, this one's not actually a very easy one to show you inside because you've got this um, kind of like mezzanine level to the, the library that's blocking out sort of all the lights. Um, so, but the staircase is really nice. Uh, let's see if I can lift it a bit. Yeah, look, look at that curve. I think the, the curves on the edges of each step as well really add to that effect. So you've got a nice tiled floor there. Some sort of... Is it the Fiat 500 yellow? I don't know what that's called, whether it's sand yellow. Um, there's a bookcase full of books. Um, maybe we'll have a look through the window. You see all the... Mm, you can't really. There's a whole load of more books under that mezzanine level. You've got the counter to buy with a little till. And then a nice little step up and out to the pavement there as well. Um, there's nothing really in the window... And that's actually something that I find a little bit odd is that you've got the books let's move this the books outside. So if it's gonna rain, that's not great. Whereas you've got all that space sort of in in that little bit there with nothing in. So I don't know why why they've done that. The stairs go up all the way to I think an apartment above the bookstore. I don't know how you stop the general public from going into that apartment. I'll show you the, the next level. So yeah, the the hole is just down here for the top of the stairs on the previous level. 
and there's no door so up you come maybe that's um maybe it's not an apartment maybe this is actually an area for you to go and read a book in a sort of snug with a, a grandfather clock there a little rug on the floor and then a balcony to go outside maybe that is all part of the bookstore i'm not entirely sure but yeah that's pretty much all the details on that floor let's have a look at the next it's a struggle to work out how to get the back off that time um because it's not a lift off one like you expect with the modulars it's a sort of side portion off so it makes it a bit more dull housey and it's got to be an apartment because there's no way you'd find a bed in a bookstore so it is a little bit weird that there's no way to stop people going up there and you've got like a little tank there that's just got a uh, like lizard in there or something um some nice details up here with the sort of feeted grabbers makes that a bit more ornate and the curve top it's nicely done although that was really hard to actually build i kept losing bits and don't know if that's just because i've done it wrong or not a bit disappointed with these bobbles at the top they just seem a bit dull um Whereas the ice cream and microphone ones are a bit more, I don't know, stylish. These are just, like they'd run out of pieces and they just put a big stopper in. I don't know. All right, let's move on to the townhouse. So we've got a very flat first level. So this is essentially just really a storage space, I think. Um, so you've got the steps up, steps down, um, and small amount of steps up to a, a doorway on the next level. So down here you've just got some storage areas. There's a little folded ladder in there. Um, that you can take in and out. It doesn't really... Oh, it's got like a, a small jumper plate for that to attach to. So it's at least not loose, which is good. Uh, mouse trap fully loaded. Pair of scissors. Yeah, it's not clear to me. What else should be in here and it's not really the height of a minifigure so if i stick um, a guy in he's gonna have to crouch down there you can see that that he is higher than the sides so that's less than ideal all right next floor so you've got a very big bay window here and therefore you've got room for a little bench seat although it doesn't go right into the bay and that always annoys me when people have bench seats and cut off half the bay window but in lego i think i'll allow it because it's a little trickier um a very sort of flattish fireplace and that's what causes the ugliness on the other side standard ship picture a little i want to call that a sideboard maybe not in sure sure if there's anything in it because again this is ian's one that he built there's a few things inside but i don't know if it's really easy to get in there there's just a couple of like canisters and things or like little jars um a small table with the uh, tea set out although yeah there's just about enough room for two chairs i really do like the yellow mat the welcome mat and this little hat stand and place for the umbrella it's a it's a nice technique but that that umbrella keeps falling out as you waggle it it just it disappears so there's this the door to the downstairs level that's impossible to get through you've got the front door and then you've also got a back door so it's very door heavy this floor and then these very shiny stairs not gonna be easy to put someone on there right let's look at the next level so despite ian's great idea of not having to lower the camera because of the way that these builds are done so that the roofs don't actually come off or the roofs don't actually come off um i still have to lower it to to get a view in because from the top all you can see is roof and um, the bed is very impressive in here it's a very large bed it's the first sort of double bed i've seen that actually looks like it would fit maybe two minifigures in there and quite ornate sort of footboard and her headboard um not much in the room just a sort of cabinet for for clothing i guess and another picture on the wall quite a nice little vase and lamp though um, and if i spin this round the technique for these these sort of go up and down so that's quite nice and then that close-up i promised you of the roof detail you see the the effect that gives us that's, that's really nice i like that and then the other half 
is just like a flat wall um, with the door to a small balcony. I, f I think this is really weird the way they've done it. Um, it's so unusual for what they normally do, but maybe that's just worked better in this, this instance. I don't know. You let me know what you think. Right, I will now move on to the minifigures and then we'll see where we're going to put this in the city. Okay, first minifigure we've got is a crazy haired lady. Um, she's got a really big bushy um, curly hair. I quite like that. Her torso is nothing special, although it is purple, so you know, that's better than not purple. Um, but yeah, look at the look at the detail in that hairpiece. It's amazing. Um, nothing really to write home about at the back. And let's just check for an alternative face. She's got a sleeping face. Maybe she's um, reading some books and she's fell asleep. Maybe she's just enjoying the sunshine outside. I don't know. But I really like her hairpiece. Next up we have quite a smartly dressed guy. Um, I think he's got the same hair as maybe Gilderoy Lockhart. Um, but yeah, he's got his tie and braces. No jacket, so a bit more casual. And then he's holding a flower. Maybe he's off to the bookshop for a, a blind date or something. I don't know. He's pretty cool. I'll check for an alternative face as well. Yep, so he's just got a bit of a, I don't know, cheeky grin. Maybe the date's going well. Let's have a look at the next one. Okay, we've got a, I'd say an older lady here, but that's only because I know that face has been used for the sort of grandma pieces. Um, she doesn't really look all that old apart from a few sort of eye wrinkles. She's got a sort of a blazer on with a shirt underneath. And sort of some stitching detail at the back. And we just, while we're here, check for uh, extra hair or alternative face. So it's the standard alternative face for this minifigure, which is pretty much the same as the other one. I can never spot the difference. I think there's a slightly fewer wrinkles on one or something, or the eyebrows are raised. I think that's the difference. But yeah, it doesn't seem worth it to me. Next up, we've got a small boy. He's got one of the banana printed torsos on. Um, that we've seen in the Spring Lantern Festival, I think it was, or one of the Chinese New Year sets. Um, a nice beanie hat and freckly face, good green scarf. And the check continues round. I'll just check for alternative faces. So he's got a bit of a worried look. And I think his face is related to the little mini build of an aeroplane. So I think on the box art, it shows this sort of stuck in the tree. And so maybe that's why he's got that face. It's, a, it's not an amazing mini build plane, but it's better than no plane, I guess. Um, yeah, it doesn't really spin around the propeller. It's quite clunky. And the bottom bit is more like a rocket piece than a tail end. So yes, not my favorite. Last up, we've got the gray haired check shirt man. Um, he's pretty plain as well. I wonder if he's the bookstore owner, maybe. I will have a look and see if he's got a different face. No, nope, he's only got one expression, so that's not amazing. Okay, so that's all the minifigures, and I did promise you that I would show you the one book that is included in the set. Here it is. It's Moby Brick. I think that's hilarious. But like I say, I don't think they had enough for other books. If you can think of any um, Lego-related book puns, then let us know in the comments below. And then it's got the standard once upon a time thing inside. But yeah, I think that's a nice touch. And I'm not disappointed that there's only the one. Because it's not like there isn't um, full shelves. It's just that's the only one with the extra detail on. So I'm quite happy with that. Right, let's have a look at where we're going to put the set. So would I recommend this set? Yes, again. <laughs> You'll find that I always recommend the modulars. Um, I can't help myself. But things to look out for is make sure you've got something to butt it up against um, so that you can avoid that ugly side. It's a good two-person build, so maybe one to do with the family. I didn't mention this little nest before. That's actually quite sweet. And I think it maybe is a hairpiece or something. I don't know the actual nest, but I like the bird. The plant is also quite nice. That's done with little black sausages. 
as you do. So yeah, I think it's it's nice. I I'm not sure if we're going to split it up or not. Um, in the city, I think it gives us a little bit more ability to plug some holes in the city because they don't always line up sixty um, thirty two by thirty two wise. So having the ones that you can fill in the smaller gaps is quite handy. So we probably will split this. Let me know what you think of the bookshop in the comments below. Have you built it already? Are you going to pick it up? If you do, don't forget our affiliate link. And if you like modulars, then we've got a whole playlist of our modular reviews that you can check out as well. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an update. See you later.